When Leopoldo López turned himself into authorities in Venezuela, he did it on his terms. And not before delivering a message to hundreds of his supporters dressed in white who had gathered at a square in eastern Caracas. The options I had were leave the country and I will never leave Venezuela. The other option was to remain in hiding, but that option could have left doubt among some, including some who are here, and we don't have anything to hide. Leopoldo López, a former mayor and presidential candidate, was facing an arrest warrant. The government of President Nicolás Maduro accused him of inciting the violence that has left several people dead in violent anti-government protests over the last week in Venezuela. The last thing he told me was, don't forget why this is happening. Don't forget why he's going to jail. He's asking for the liberation of political prisoners and students and an end to repression and violence. Before turning himself in, López went into hiding. His parents' house in Caracas was raided by government forces while he considered his options. Manuela, mi hija, que tiene cuatro años, me preguntó. Manuela, my daughter, who's four years old, asked me about it. I told her, Manuela, he's working for Venezuela. Because Leopoldo, wherever he is, in jail tonight, he's going to be working for us and thinking of us. He's going to keep on dreaming about a better Venezuela, as he always does. The charismatic political leader has a master's degree from Harvard. He attended Kenyon College in Ohio, graduating in 1993, and was a boarding student at a private Princeton high school. You were drawn to him. I, my parents, teachers, you were just, but not in a, in a slimy way, in a nice way. Not a hit with the ladies, but he wouldn't even know it. He'd say, oh, no, that's not me. Very modest. HLN anchor Susan Hendricks was a close personal friend of Lopez's in high school and says they have kept in touch over the years. When you saw him out there, put himself putting himself in jeopardy, that was not a surprise to you? Oh, it wasn't a surprise at all. I've been uh, tweeting and texting with people that are very good friends with him up until this day, have spoken to him about a month ago, and he said, I will not leave Venezuela. Lopez's future seems uncertain at best. Hendrix says friends from school and others who know Lopez well, both in the United States and Venezuela, are now praying for Lopez and his country in turmoil. Rafael Romo, CNN.